Ready for more topology? All right, let's do part two. So in the last video, we created some topology. We validated it, and that was uh, applying those rules, and that allowed us to also, also visualize it in our catalog. Next, we want to go into ArcMap and try to figure out how to um, fix these rules, or fix, fix the errors to the rules. So what I've done is opened up a blank ArcMap session, and then I'm going to drag and drop this topology into it. And then it's going to ask me if I want to add all the feature classes that participate in this topology of the map. And almost always the answer is going to be yes, because you're going to be editing those in order to fix these errors. So I've got my, my trails, my boundary, and uh, the errors that I've been identified before. Now before I do any editing, uh, we need to kind of configure arc map in order to do topology editing. So I want to go in and make sure that I've got a couple different toolbars here. That I've got the editor, uh, I've got the snapping environment set up, and then down here below outside the, the window is the topology toolbar. So I want to add all those. And so this is the editor, snapping, and then over here are the topology toolbar. Now they're showing up in gray right now, uh, because I don't have an edit environment um, started. So just like editing features and creating and new lines of polygons and, and uh, modifying them, uh, all my topology changes are going to be inside of an edit session. Uh, I'm going to save this just to make sure that I don't lose things. That's incredibly important when you're doing editing to always save more often than often. And then start my editing environment. As long as everything's in the same feature data set, I won't get any errors there, and I'll be able to edit anything that's over here in my table of contents. Oops, pause. All right, I'm back. Um, OK, so we've got our edit session turned on. Our topology toolbar has shown up. And I'd suggest you go through the topology toolbar here and get a sense of the different tools that you now have access to. Uh, there's going to be a key couple of tools that we're going to use. One in particular is the fixed topology uh, error tool, and the other is the error inspector. So let's go ahead and look at that error inspector, and this is going to open up a kind of a little table view at the bottom that's going to allow me to list errors by error type. So we had a couple different rules that we set, and let's say we look at trails must not overlap. I click that as an option. Um, right now I'm going to turn off visible extent. I want to make sure that I can get all the errors for all across the park. And I'm going to click search now. And this will give me a list of all the errors uh, that, for that rule. And then in order to fix individual errors, I can right click on one of these, say zoom to, and find this errors where there's, there's overlapping trails. So this black part here um, the topology errors are going to show up as kind of a pinkish color, reddish pinkish color, and then when they're selected, they show up black. So this is showing me this is a selected topology error. And now fixing this, so I know I've got an overlap, so two lines that are coincident on top of each other, and we said we didn't want to do that. That kind of double counts. There's a kind of a blind way that I could do this. I could go to the fixed topology error tool, and I can right click on this feature. And this tool is tries to be smart. It's going to adapt and give us different options depending on the error that it encounters. Uh, and in this case, it's giving us an option to subtract. So remove the portion of the feature that is causing the error. So it's kind of going to fix it for us. Um, so if I go ahead and, and kind of blindly follow this and click subtract, it's going to ask, it says there's two features here, which one do you want to use? I may want to look at the attributes to confirm one or the other is the appropriate one to delete. I say OK, and now that's been fixed. Uh, and then sometimes you have to go and say validate topology and current extent, and just to make sure that there's no errors um, that remain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and undo that error. And just to make a point here, before you just blindly go ahead and fix topology errors, often you want to zoom into that area and kind of get a sense of what's going on. So it looks like I've got a, a trail intersection here, 
And I got a few, few other things that are happening. This may be an artifact of some of the GPS work that was done on the trails, but I've got this little spur here that's probably not real. If I measure some extent or some lengths here, and I'm looking at something that's incredibly small. Let's change the units into something actually useful here. Meters. Um, so 11 meters. That's probably not a real <laughs> spur trail here. So I've got a few other things that I want to clean up besides even this just topology here. So in overall, you know, quality control, I want to clean up that other um, problem too. So it looks like that was appropriate for me to use the the error tool to delete that. Do subtract. Go ahead and do that again. And then to fix this up here, I'd want to turn on the editor tool and delete some of these vertices. And I may have another error here, uh, but let's see. Right click, delete vertex, and then click away. And now I've cleaned up that intersection. All right. All right, thank you. Let's go back to our air inspector. Trails must not overlap. Say search now. And I can keep on going down the list and fix these errors and get all of these errors fixed. So that's one way to approach fixing these errors. If I go and look at one of the other examples, one of the rules, trails must be inside boundary. I'm going to search for one of those and give a quick look to one of those. All right, so here I've got a trail that looks like it's kind of skirting the park boundary. Now, here's kind of a special case. Like, I've got a couple options for this. One is that I can try to move the trail inside the park. I could pull up an air photo and see if I can find the trail in the air photo and whether or not it belongs inside the park. Or any of the little trail segments that are outside the park, I could delete. Um, but probably I want to keep this whole trail here. If I'm making a trail map of the park, if something just goes outside the park a little ways, I don't want to have these segments of trail, no trail, and give the user the, the impression that there's missing trail segments. So this is kind of a special case where I've got a, a, a line that's breaking the rule that I don't want to necessarily fix. So we're going to use the topology fix um, topology error tool. We're going to right click and for this case we're going to mark this as an exception. We're going to say this is an allowed exception to the rule that I've just applied. And so that's going to disappear as uh, an error, um, and we're going to keep it as an exception to our topology rules. And that's also really common that we'd have topology rules that may apply to some parts of our data set, but not the whole thing. So that's an important uh, lesson not to just bl blindly fix everything, that some things may be uh, in the real world allowed. All right, let's go zoom to the next one. OK, here I've got a trail that goes up to the park boundary and goes across and it looks like it just extends a little too far past the park boundary. Let's make one more fix here. Now if I go to the Fix Topology Error tool and right click on this, um, it doesn't know what to do here. So it can tell there's a, 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 a break in the rule, but it's just allowing me to mark it as an exception. So in this case, this tool is not going to allow me to fix this. I'm going to have to go and use the Editor tools. And zoom in a little bit and get rid of the vertices that are outside the park. And then I'm going to move this one and make sure that it's snapping to the boundary. All right, I'm not getting a snap to the boundary. So I need to go up to snapping and do edge snapping so I can snap to the edge of the boundary. And there's the boundary edge. Okay, I'm going to turn off vertex snapping. So I'm just going to snap to the boundary edge and there we go. Click away and now I have a trail that's fixed. Now here's a case where I still see this error and that's where I need to revalidate. Um, and now it's going to revalidate and it's going to say alright that's no longer an error so that's fixed. So now I've fixed one of the cases where the trail goes outside the boundary and I've got it where it stops right at the park edge now. All right, well, that's kind of an overview of using the uh, a couple of the simple rules for our tools for fixing topology errors. It gets more complicated, and you're going to need to look at the help files for some of this, but that gives you uh, a sense of what you're going to do for some of this. Now, obviously, before you quit, 
save your edits, save your ArcMap session. All right, enjoy. <laughs>